movie. And welcome to another totally random retro bonus round. Uh, where we pick a completely random retro game and try and figure it out. So, I think today we will go with the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, for our console. Um, Dustin, you want to give me a random letter? How about E? E. Sounds like a good number. Or letter. <laughs> okay, how about a random number? Um, how about three? Okay. One, two, three. And that gives us Earthworm Jim 3. Ooh. Interesting. This is apparently a ROM that somebody hacked because Earthworm Jim wasn't released on the NES. So this should be very interesting. Yeah, I've, been, I've never played 3, so I'm excited to see this. I don't even think they made a 3. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. I think <laughs> there's 1, 2, and then there's like a Earthworm Jim 64 or 3D or something. Maybe that's what they're considering the third version. Yeah, or, or it could be something like, um, what is it? Donkey Kong Country 4 is really this hacked version of Donkey Kong Country that runs on the NES. Okay. Okay, so this should be very interesting. Earthworm cool. Jim on the NES. Please note that you cannot buy this game. <laughs> <laughs> you even got Groovy in there. Oh, yeah, these games are just so... Uh... So different. Okay, well, this is Earthworm Jim. I'm doing horrible already. How do I switch to my gun? Let's pause. Yeah, I did. Okay, there's my gun. Ah! Get off of me. Ah, that was the wrong place to go. Oh! Wow, this is really... This level is much... Wow, it's different. Are those tires? Yeah, well, it's... Piles of tires? It's the same... Pretty much, it's supposed to be the same as the junkyard level on the first Earthworm Gym. I'm, I'm guessing. How do I get up there? There we go. But yeah, it's definitely altered. Yeah. I have to say, they didn't do a very. Or, or, not too shabby. That's no, kind of cool. Porting a Genesis game to the NES. Can't quite use my gun, really. Which is sort of a pain. No, I take it you're kind of. What kind of controller are you using for this? Uh, for this, I'm running an Xbox 360 controller on my Windows okay. PC, so. Works on most things. Oh, what? Can't I get that guy? Okay. That was either a glitch or something. So I can only fire my gun from a chain rope thingy. When you're h hanging? Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, that's kind of... Why is that? That doesn't make any sense. I know, I, I can't... I can't switch to my gun. Like, like, the select button does nothing. Start button just pauses the game. Huh. That is very strange. Yeah, see, this will be very different than when I play Earthworm Jim on the Genesis, because then I always run out of bullets. <laughs> be tough to run out of bullets on here when I can't use them. <laughs> yep, you won't run into that problem. These games are just always so so interesting. I really like the Earthworm Jim. Yeah, it's a, it's a little tricky uh, platforming. Yeah. 
It was definitely a very, very unique game, though I have actually seen crazier games <laughs> that <Yes. laughs> make Earthworm Jim look absolutely normal. <laughs> What, would one of those be Toe Jam and Earl, maybe, or no? Uh, Toe Jam and Earl, um, Super Bonk. If you played, if you've seen Super Bonk on the Super Nintendo. I have not. We'll have to do that sometime. Yes, well, we'll have to do a, <laughs> a game of absolutely crazy and insane <laughs> games, and Super Bonk will be one of them. That. <laughs> That, that is like a game that will just blow your mind. Sometimes I wonder how they they thought of the ideas for some of these games. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm doing very, very bad. Yes, you're, you're good at doing like the first little bit of this level, though. <laughs> so you get to a yeah. certain part. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not liking this not using the gun thing. Yeah, well, Is, that's, that's something kinda, that would be coming in handy right about all yeah, the time. So. Yeah, that, that's kind of how you play Earthworm, Jim. Yep. That'd be like Superman without his cape or something. Yeah, no, it, just, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Superman with no superpowers. Okay, well, should we try a different game? Sure, why not? Maybe, maybe we can get a real... Um, game. Okay, so random letter. Oh, G. <laughs> G. Um. How about a random number? Two. And that would be GI Joe. Ooh. This is this could be interesting. Yeah. I don't know, I wonder what that plays like. Now this is a real oh, game. Cool. Good morning, man. The time has come to rid the world of something. That intro, like the splash start screen, reminded me of the American Gladiators for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Team member two that has co-op. Rock and oh, roll. Cool. Snake Eyes is cool. I like Snake Eyes. Yeah. This could be a great game here. Hopefully it's not strictly two-player. So what do we got? Jump into the jungle. That is not Snake Eyes. That's... Okay. Yeah. That's Duke. Oh, wait. Here we go. There, that's Snake Eyes. Yes. Ah, good old Snake Eyes. Yeah. Okay, so this feels very much like Contra. Looks very similar as well. Okay, I have different weapons I can use. So I have a sword and a... What is that, a Hadouken? Throwing a Hadouken out in a fireball thingy? <laughs> It's kind of interesting how the backgrounds and everything, the the colors on the screen flash different colors. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be, <laughs> if that's supposed to be lightning, <laughs> if we're supposed to be in a or storm what it is, or yeah. something, or what is that thing? Yeah. Like a mutated lion. What it is almost that? has to be a lightning. I don't see why else they would be doing it. Oh, we got guys in the foreground, huh? You're getting all fancy here with the graphics. Yeah, this is really cool. You can go forward and backwards kind of in the depth of the game. It's neat. Don't see that on many NES games. No, not at all. It's like their own version of 3D. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wonder... What do we got? Oh yeah, rock and roll dude. What's he like? Okay, so he just punches. Oh, here we go. This is what we want. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now the big guns are out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta fight a... What is this, a jet? I gotta fight a fighter jet? That's or not is that fair. your plane? Is that the Joe's plane or no? I don't think so, because it's firing at me. Okay. So 
So, so I have to fight a fighter jet. That's not fair. Um, <laughs> no. It's not. Ow, oh, I'm dead. Okay, <laughs> so he's... <laughs> I love how the fighter jet... <laughs> It looks so funny, it's like, comes forward, instantly starts going backwards, and... Yeah, I don't think fighter jets can do that. <laughs> I... I didn't think so, but you never know. One of those military secrets. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not standard issue. <laughs> but then again, a lot of the stuff that, uh, the Joes had <laughs> wasn't standard. No, not exactly. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid everybody. Not gonna fight you, not gonna fight you. Gonna try not to fight you. Uh, Those very familiar uh, sounds and all that stuff as well. You gotta look like a ballerina. Need jumps. <laughs> that does not look like a jump, um, Duke would do. Yeah. Ooh, nice. There's that plane again. Come on. Aha! Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. There's <laughs> only one, one fighter plane. This is... You can't throw another one in here. Yeah, that's totally unfair. One plane's enough. I only signed on to fight one fighter plane. <laughs> Okay, we blew that one up. Cool. Oh, we actually completed a mission. Who the heck is that? Oh, I'm waiting. Waiting for what? How do I get that? This is, like, very much Contra. I think the second level of Contra is this yeah. sort of waterfall level or something. The very vertical. Yeah, they're, they're totally ripping the Contra. Yeah, a lot of things look very similar here. Is the gameplay pretty similar as well? It looks like it. Except for the fact that these guys have actual health bars rather than just being the one hit wonders that the Contra boys are. Yeah. That's really annoying. Yeah. This you also get um three different guys to switch between. Yeah, that's, that's nice. cool. Oh, you could switch between them on the fly. Okay, why is there swamp water in the air? Up Floating here? in the air. That does ouch. Tactics failure. <laughs> Mission incomplete. <laughs> I told you it was not, I was not easy. We'll lose snake eyes. Eh, how about blizzard? Let's see what the blizzard's like. Oh, we get to start from the same level so far. That's nice. At least in <laughs> some of those games you start from the very beginning. Yeah, did Contra, I think if you kept continuing, you could start. What the heck? Okay. Was that a checkpoint or what? Yeah, well, I don't know. No idea what that was. Oh, anyway, we need Snake Eyes to jump up there. <clears throat> um, okay, so apparently we can't go any further there. Wait, what? Where am I supposed to be going now? Can I go in there? No. What am I doing? Yeah, where'd you go?
Apparently the swamp water hurts you. Or maybe that's <laughs> lava. I can't tell, it flashes green and red. <laughs> I was just wondering if that was the colors that were coming through to me or not. So that's either swamp water or lava. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic swamp water, ah. Or this could be a lava swamp. We don't, we don't know. Who really knows what they were trying to do? So, okay, let's try up. Oh, there's another checkpoint. Under. If... Are we placing like explosives or what? Are these checkpoints or what? Um, it's very interesting. Yeah, these NES games didn't give you a whole lot in terms of direction. <laughs> it's kind of started going now. Uh... Oh yeah, here's the level. But I, I guess... Hello, what happened? Oh, I guess the some games, all your directions, they listed out all the missions and what you had to do in the manuals. Yeah. <laughs> some of them... Yeah, I remember a lot of these older games. You definitely you had to read the manuals. Yeah. Now, you don't <laughs> even bother. Yeah, if you didn't read the manual, you were totally screwed. Okay, so I did both of those checkpointy things. Now can I go in here? Oh, yep. Okay, so I had to do both those checkpoints. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so now we got a flying dude with an eagle. Okay. Uh, that's totally normal. And your platform kind of disappears when the shoots at it? Or what? Oh, there goes Blizzard. Jeez. That's right, there is no diagonal on the NES D-pad. <laughs> Come on, die already. Man, you gotta be really close to him to hit him. And then they, they're doing something in parts of your platform, the thing you're standing on there. Just yeah, he, he, he dives down and knocks out a piece of it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Turn into yeah. blue guy. Hurry up. Oh, now I have to escape? Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's the next mission. You defeated my forces, but I won't be so easy. Isn't that what you said last time? <laughs> Wait, so none of those guys healed? So I'm still down Blizzard. And Duke and Snake Eyes, health is almost gone. That's no fair. So is that kind of like the, how it, the game ends then or whatever? If you kill everybody or...? I'm not sure. Do you have lives anywhere? I'm not sure if I have lives or if I just have if lives is sort of all your guys and when you lose them all you have to start from the beginning of the level or what? Ow. Yeah. And what is this stuff? Well we might find out soon, who knows? Yeah, Duke <laughs> isn't looking so hot. Ooh, and he's down. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Snake Eyes, up to you. You're our last hope. He's not looking too hopeful. <laughs> Cut rocks with a sword. Why not? Ow! Tactics failure, mission incomplete. Oh, now what? Uh, continue and I. And I think we. Yep, we start. Yeah. So you just keep going until you go no more. Which I you must only have like a certain number of continues or something. No, no, no. I think we no. I think we have unlimited continues. You just have to start at the beginning of the level. So as long as you keep playing. <laughs> Maybe this was uh, more of like an arcade game then, where you <laughs> threw all your quarters into it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think that is a pretty good look at. Earthworm Jim 3 and G.I. Joe for the NES.
So be sure to stay tuned for our next completely random retro bonus round game.